Well, I see it's cooled off in the last five minutes. Wow, we are back down to a brisk 88 degrees here in the end times. It was 90 degrees here about two minutes ago. Uh, here in the end times in paradise, we are in upstate New York in the month of May, in the closing hours of the month of May. That would be Tuesday, May 31st. 2022 I guess we're looking at either a record hot day in the Finger Lakes or if not the hottest May 31st in Finger Lakes history right up there with it uh, so anyway I am uh, heading over to do two things I'm heading over to get a pile of boards to start the two new tiny houses at Bugs in a Jar Farm from this Amish dude. Uh, go get me some lumber and we're going to help uh, Sister Sandy. We're going to get her uh, drip irrigation system in so uh, she won't dry up and blow away this summer. Anyway, but on my way, this is what I uh, I'm dealing with now is I'm dealing with this cheap ass shit from China. It is unfucking believable what I am going through uh, with Amazon.com trying to order some fucking uh, little solar lights. Some of these save the planet, you know, little. Uh, decorative plastic solar lights so I don't have to you know be connected to the grid so never let it be said that we don't use solar energy at Bugs in a Jar Farm so good God so I ordered two sets of these fucking lights from Amazon a couple of weeks ago uh, the first thing that I ordered were these little plastic dragonfly lights for the uh, front of the tiny house. These little blinking dragonfly lights. I think they worked for one night. One fucking night. Crapped out. You know, 20 fucking dollars I spent on these. So, you know, I emailed Amazon and told them that they were all fucked up and I just crazy me just thought uh, they would either refund my money or <coughs> or send me another string or whatever but wh whatever we decided I just assumed surely uh, they're just going to tell me to keep this piece of shit string of lights uh this piece of shit string of lights and and just throw them into the fucking landfill or whatever and unbelievably they want me to send them back so uh, this fucking string of lights uh, I have no idea uh, they, these fucking things have already made the, their way from China to New York where they worked for one fucking night and uh, now uh, they're heading back. I don't know if they're going all the fucking way back to China. My guess is they're going to some giant fucking uh, clearing house, uh, maybe uh, in Reno, Nevada, uh, you know, behind that big whorehouse in uh, Reno, Nevada, and going in the goddamn garbage in Reno. Like, like what the fuck? Uh, is anyone going to do uh, with this goddamn string of lights? They're going to end up in the fucking landfill. Uh, you know, that, that I know goddamn well where they're going, but uh, so I'm dealing with all of this shit and I don't know what the fuck uh, Amazon is talking about. All of these complicated goddamn instructions to uh and, and and printing out fucking barcodes and uh return labels and and meeting up with the goddamn ups driver and on and on and on uh so i was i, I was dealing with that string and, and then the next fucking 
a uh, bunch of lights came in. And so crazy me, uh, I guess I'll take my part of the responsibility for, for misreading the ad. So what these lights, what they are, they are lights that you put inside their solar lights that you put inside mason jars and they're called fairy firefly fairy firefly lights in a jar it's fucking bugs in a jar that I cannot believe it that uh, that they actually have solar bugs in a jar so uh, I, crazy me I thought that a firefly was the same thing as a lightning bug. Uh, what I guess Yankees call fireflies, uh, I was raised called lightning bugs. So I was reading it, fairy lightning bugs in a jar. And uh, so I ordered eight of the motherfuckers, paid like $26.00. To get eight, you know, little jarfuls of lights. Now I had to supply my own jars to put my bugs in them. So I get the fucking things uh, a, a couple of days ago, and, and there's nothing, there's nothing to do with a fucking bug. It's these little bitty fucking lights. They they look kind of like boogers. But I guess uh, something like boogers in a jar just doesn't have the same ring as bugs in a jar. And boogers in a jar, you know, it just doesn't have quite the same marketing appeal as fairy fireflies in a jar. So they were pretty cool. Like I, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking the fact they were pretty cool. These little, you know, these little colored boogers. You, you put in a fucking mason jar. But the fact is, they weren't bugs in a jar. So uh, they had all of these fucking five-star ratings and all of this shit, how people love their little boogers in a jar and how, you know, people giving them for gifts and all of this shit. So I'm not saying they weren't cool. They just weren't fucking bugs in a jar. So uh, I, uh, I contact Amazon and, and start that. And, and, and I just said, fuck it. Uh, I, I'm just going to go to the UPS store. So now what I'm doing on my way to Sandy's is uh, I'm going to have to track down the fucking UPS store in Horseheads, New York and just tell these people at the fucking UPS store, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, I, I, I just want these goddamn things out of my fucking life. <clears throat> and so I guess... Let's see, what is it? They're sending me a new string of the dragonfly lights. Once I return these, and it doesn't cost me anything to ship either one of these back. They're not charging me uh, any shipping. So as soon as they receive the dragonfly lights, they're going to send me another fucking string of dragonfly lights. To work for one fucking night and crap out on me, and I guess they're just giving me my fucking money back uh, on the fairy fireflies in a jar because they don't have any bugs in a jar. Uh, you know, it seems to me like it would be pretty simple because there's there's these different kinds of bugs. Okay, they 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 got the lights in a jar, and they got dragonflies. They've got honeybees, they've got ladybugs, they've got butterflies. So it seems to me that they could invent this, you know, this little short string of lights about a, you know, a foot long string of lights with a fucking dragonfly, a butterfly, a ladybug, and a honeybee. All right? and put them in a the fucking jar, and I would be all over that shit. Uh, I, you know, I would be buying a bunch of these motherfuckers. Uh, so if anyone wants to invent that, 
uh, I guarantee you I will be a loyal customer if you can figure out how to put a six uh, how to put a one foot long four bulb solar light string together th that 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 you can just put some little fucking bugs on and uh good god i have uh how much time and, and energy have i put into this already uh how much fucking time and energy i, I i've put into this fucking uh planet eating plastic crap from china yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, this shit with this lumber. You know, here I go, uh, just as I predicted, you know, when I sold that gorgeous, that gorgeous fucking uh, cypress and cedar lumber down there in Florida and uh, watched that go off on a trailer. I said, okay, Hambone. You're, you're making the fucking call and your entire summer now is going to be spent, you know, running back and forth, 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 back and forth to, to all of the fucking lumber mills and Lowe's and Home Depot and, and, and all of this shit. Uh, and, and by the end of the summer, when I add up uh, my time and energy and, and, and the fucking gas money uh, that, that I'm going to be spending, it'll be about the same as I would have spent uh, j just bringing uh, all of this fucking lumber up from Florida. And, uh, but instead of, uh, and, and, you know, ending up with this gorgeous fucking uh, cypress and cedar, I, I'm, I'm going to end up with this fucking cheap ass shit white pine. And, uh, good fucking God, I could, uh, you know, I could have all of this lumber right now, all of it. Uh, it would be sitting in, in a storage shed uh, about five miles from Bugs in a Jar Farm. All the fucking material would be there. All the fucking lumber would be there. All of the roofing, uh, those beautiful countertops, all of that shit would be sitting, uh, you know, in a fucking storage shed. Uh, already measured and cut and everything. And here I go again, starting from ground fucking zero. Ground fucking zero. Uh, and on on all of this shit, uh, <clears throat> but at least as far as that beautiful cypress and uh, that beautiful cypress and cedar lumber, I'm talking about what uh, I am in the process of doing is uh, figuring out how to uh, harvest and mill this uh, elm tree on my property, this big uh, American elm tree. I thought this thing was an ash tree, but anyway, it's an elm tree. It's gorgeous lumber. So uh, anyway, I will get some, uh, some payback for all of that gorgeous cypress and cedar uh, out of this elm tree, which did not die in vain. I've got this... Uh, big old elm tree and this big old apple tree that you know came crashing down in the flood so we're going to mill we're going to figure out how to get those trees sawed up into logs and taken to the sawmill and uh we're going to have some beautiful fucking paneling and siding and countertops from this elm and this apple but uh Good Lord, if, the, if these tiny houses are finished by the time I leave six months from now, I will be pretty surprised. Uh, but anyway, this is my life. My life. Uh, going back and forth like a fucking goldfish. Uh, anyway get out there and go back and forth, back and forth like a fucking goldfish while you still can.
bye guys